Uh, hello everyone and welcome to this uh, uh, unboxing of the digital samples of six player expansion uh, add-on the module 4 exodus and the tools all for high frontier 4 with me you manker of iron game design and phil Eklund, designer yes so Let's do okay, it. Okay, yeah, let's start? do it. Finally. Uh, yeah, been working on I've this been uh, for, for 75 years now. 75 years. Okay, well, it's a colorful um, cover on here, and we've got. So, this, uh, these are the tools we're opening now, which is uh, a lot of extra material um, for making the gameplay easier. And uh, it also has ready-made rockets that are designed to be... Oh, that's right. Well, yeah. Joff, Joff I, yeah. Yeah, Spear um, worked on these. Maybe if maybe we, I should open this one, actually. Well, I can open the other one. So Joff is one of the best, uh, the best High Frontier players in the world, I would argue. Uh, yeah, and he's also a co-designer. And he's also a co-designer, but he's... Uh, but I don't know, Joff, Pavel, who else? Uh, yeah, I, I should mention uh, Justin and Jeff, Powell um, have uh, contributed to um, both of these. Yeah. So we're looking at um, little game cards that he help in play. This shows active laws, conditions, and other descriptions. There's a lot of stuff in here. This describes all the futures of the game. Uh, footfall, a personal favorite, especially if you're a uh, Larry Niven fan. We've got a card list here. Um, so this gives you all the statistics you ever wanted to know. If you want to, thinking about auctioning something and you can only see the top side of a card, uh, it would be, um, you'd be able to find it in here. And the quality is uh, good as usual. Yeah, it's yeah. The same it as looks, all the other parts of Half of Looks here, pretty so good. It looks, looks fine. And here is, uh, that was the card list and statistics. Here are all the red made rockets. These, all these cards have a lot of information, uh, which sometimes are in small text on other players' cards, so you can have it easier to read. And there's also this punch board. I think with with um, one side, uh, yeah, is yeah. Is one easy. side is aqua, and the other side is isotopes in it. Uh, gives you yeah. much more um, capacity than what comes in the original game. So uh, these what are the extra? These are for the uh, to make it easier to be to build the road. So these are just copies of the normal cards, right? Uh, yes, but there are these are special. They have a little corner up here which make it easier to build the rockets um, that are part of these ready-made rockets. So, tons of card, tons of stuff, tons of help. Moving on to six player, I would say. So this this is really the same as before, but a few things were corrected, uh, and this is just makes it possible for you to play high frontiers with six players, including a grey. Um, Player, and this is all you need for mod core game module 0, module 1, and module 2. And then from module 3 onwards, these have they are all pre made for six players, I believe. That's so. correct. All the modules um, include the capacity for the six players so to use these components. And here's a little mini uh, punch board, and these ones, even the small one, come up very good. And then you have a little this one is not really used, but it's a nice little feature. And this logo. You can, you can put it somewhere nice. Okay. And you have boards here as well. The board seems... So the, that one was good. This one seems to be correct. The stars are orange. I guess that's what's to be expected. Yes. Yeah. And these ones are player board, extra player board. So it should be the... Good. Yes, rocket strips. 
you can never have too many rocket strips. Uh, no, no, and these ones as they should fit like they do as double test. So the background should line up here nicely, mm -hmm. which it does, and continue lining up here, which it does. Now the six player player gray is which country? Uh, it's the Norse. The Norse uh, yes. astronauts, my favorite. Yes, there's SpaceX on the other side, but we won't mention them. Now they're they're uh, not on par with Norse astronauts, really. Yes. Uh, and then we have uh, the main event. Module main event. Four. Such a beautiful cover. Yeah. This is the space elevator from the moon Prometheus around Saturn, and made by. Um, this is Josephine, I think. No, this this cover. No, Josephine didn't do this one. She's uh, this must have been Anna, I think. Okay, maybe it was Anna. Yeah. Right. For well, shouldn't forget these things. Uh, and so what if she looks at this? Uh, you will be condemned forever to shame. Anyway, it says back here. Uh, Yes, cover image, Anna Isaacson. Yep, Anna Isaacson. Very nice. So these are the rules for module four. We go to 44 pages. Um, and this includes a listing of the future. So there's a lot of background um, here. The module four solitaire games and some of the expansion stuff for the Unionist Wars, the Exodus um, scenarios, special Exodus scoring, things like that. So the rules itself for um, the uh, for the contracts and the ISO bank and monetization. That's that's uh, that's about half of it here. Yeah, and that's a uh, thing you bring up there is is good because. As always, you can play uh, the, any selection of modules uh, with High Frontier, so there needs to be a little special rules for you know, certain combinations. But one thing which is in here, which is, and, and Justin was a co-designer on this one, and he's done a great job. Uh, and one thing in here, which is uh, his and maybe mine as well, favorite, uh, is the contracts. And that's really something you could... Yeah, I could advise you to bring in, I mean, normally uh, later modules might be to, uh, I mean, not something you start off with. But this one, the contracts are great for, for even new players of High Frontier. Yeah, yeah. And you can select only this and, and skip the other stuff. Um, Justin always says, once you've played it, you'll never play without it. Because um, these contracts give you money up front to do things that maybe you wanted to do anyway. So how do the cards look? Looks good. Looks really good actually. This one is slightly off center, but that uh, was just the test one. The other ones are great. So now it's and it was we're talking a tenth of a millimeter. So. I'm gonna open these guys up. These are the colonists, new colonists, just for module four. I'm gonna put a few of them out here. They've got purple side and black side. It's a lot of new black side colonists. Uh, yeah, yeah, these are um, the robotic colonists, the black side ones. And then we have some boards. There's a new uh, politics board because there are new things going on on that. Yeah. And this is also module four prepared for uh, Interstellar. So if you play module four, uh, as you all may know, I love uh, the faculty of having games affecting the next game, so you can play an arch of games. So the, the in a campaign, in a campaign style, and if you want to go the grand campaign from Genesis, Megafauna, Origins, High Frontier, and then the natural step to go to Interstellar is that you play using Module Four. So if you want to do that campaign, you should really play at least High Frontier with. Module four, uh, or I uh, with at least module four, because then you get the setup for continuing in. Right, it introduces an ISO bank which accumulates enough ISO fuel for a starship. Oh yeah, this map show is a pretty clever map. 
it shows you where all the hazards are and aren't to help you plan your trip. And um, also to help plan contracts too. There's a lot of contract information on this map. Here are uh, little cheat cards showing augmentations because in this game you can augment your cyborgs and colonists with uh, various enhanced abilities. Good. Then there's another player A for the stuff included in this game. Uh, yes. Complement yes. the normal player A. Right, this is and, um, designed by Joff. And it comes with one, two, three, four player A's. Yeah, four copies. So an extra sheet for the standard game player A. And then we have the punch board. Also good. Yeah, these show the augmentations and they're a little icon for their special abilities. Here's some extra medallions. There's a default chit for um, uh, if you're late on a contract. Um, there's also um, pieces to show on the sunspot cycle whether or not you're late or not. So, there you have it. Thank you for watching. Uh, everything looked good at first glance. Now we're going to look through this very, very carefully, uh, following a strict routine that we have developed here and a bunch of steps. Uh, Paul is arriving soon, and then we're going to answer uh, or send anything, any feedback we have to China uh, or to the manufacturer, I would say. Um, uh, hopefully within the day. Uh, and then, yes, we always try to reply immediately to whatever they send us. Uh, so it's not stalling here <laughs> and then we hope that this will be uh, you know ready to receive well as soon as possible no promises i'm i have too much experience in <laughs> making promises uh, thank you for watching and uh, uh, if you watched all the way here and haven't liked and subscribed yet you probably should bye bye